Students, this video is about the uh, review of inequalities. It's the fifth lesson in unit three for inequalities. Uh, this is actually the uh, fourth part of a multi-part video about these topics. We already did the do now. We did interpreting solutions to inequalities. And we also did solving inequalities. So now we're on to graphing compound inequalities. You should have already tried these exercises, but if you have not, go ahead and pause the video, try them out, and then come back to see if you got them right. For this first problem, we know that it is x is greater than negative 6 and x is less than 0. This and, A-N-D, indicates that it will be a convergent inequality. First part says x is greater than negative 6. So we go to negative 6 on the number line. We put a circle on that. Since it's greater than and not greater than or equal to, um, we're not going to fill in that circle. And then x is greater than that. It's bigger than that. So I'm going to start shading upwards. Then I'm going to look at x is less than 0, so I place an open circle on 0, less than, not less than or equal to. So it's an open circle on 0, and it says x is less than 0, so I'm going to shade down from 0. The two meet in the middle, and that's okay, because convergent inequalities are inequalities that come together. Take a look at question number 2. Negative 3 is less than x, and x is less than 2. Pause the video, try this one out, and then come back to see if you got it right. thing that I did was I separated the compound inequality into two simple inequalities. It makes it a lot easier to graph the individual inequalities that way. I have negative 3 is less than x, and I'm sure you'll agree. If negative 3 is smaller than x, that means that x is bigger than negative 3. So I can turn it around and rewrite it as x is larger than negative 3. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to graph the two on the graph, making sure to scale the line first our graph. X is greater than negative 3, so we're going to start at negative 3, open circle there because there's no um, line underneath it, and we're shading upwards, greater than. And then X is less than 2, which means starting at 2, we're going to shade downwards, right? So there's our correct and complete graph. Take a look at question 3, another and inequality. This one didn't say and in the problem, but we know that since the X is directly in between the two numbers, we considered an and inequality as well. The only time it's going to be an or inequality is when it specifically says or. These three are or inequalities. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's do number three first. First, I'm going to scale the line. Notice I haven't numbered every single number like that I did on the first one, but that's okay. I go from negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one. I'm just saving myself a little time. In addition, in order to figure out what to uh, scale by, I'm going to look for the smallest number, and then I'm just going to go a little bit below that and the largest number, and then go a little bit above that. As long as I have at least one line above and one line below, my largest and smallest respectively, that should be good. X is less than five, let's draw that one first. And then we'll go on to X is, uh, I'm sorry, X is greater than five, let's draw that one first. And then let's do X is less than one second, less than negative one second. Okay, so X is greater than five, that graph looks like this. X is less than negative one, that graph looks like this. However, this word in between says and. Remember the idea behind and inequalities. The values have to satisfy both inequalities. For example, let's take zero here. Zero is greater than negative three, but it's also less than two. So that one works because it satisfies both of the inequalities. It satisfies this one, x is greater than negative three, and x is less than two. However, all of these values down here, which are the values that are less than negative one, don't satisfy the second inequality, or the uh, x is greater than 5, right? None of these values intersect with each other. So since it says and, looking for things that intersect everything, unfortunately we have to say there is no solution for this particular graph. It says and, and it doesn't overlap, there's no solution. Let's move on to or. x is less than 4 or x is greater than 7. Let's scale the line first and then graph it. Pause the video, try it out, and then come back to see if you got it right. Okay, we have x is less than 4. That's all of these values here. Open circle because it's less than, not less than or equal to. Or x is greater than 7. That's this, starting at 7 and going upwards. Um, it's all right that they don't overlap because we're using or here. If it uses or, we're allowed to go apart. As a matter of fact, uh, we expect them to go apart. However, if it says and, then they go apart. The answer is no solution. All right, moving on to number five, x is less than negative two or x is greater than nine. They're going to go apart and it's okay that they're going apart. 
pause the video and try it out, then come back to see if you got it right. In this instance, we have x is less than negative 2, which is going downwards this way. x is greater than 9, which is going upwards this way. Notice that I had to scale by 2s rather than 1s on the other graphs because I just wouldn't fit negative 2 and 9 on the same number line here. Uh, also notice that 9 didn't get its own line, so I had to put it in between 8 and 10. However, negative 2 did get its own line. Both open circles because there's no equal sign on the bottom. And or uh, allows us to put the lines going apart. So all set for that one. Last but not least, take a look at number 6. Try this one out and then come back to see if you got it right after you try it. There we go. X is greater than negative 6, so it's shaded upwards like this, starting at negative 6. Or X is less than negative 7, starting at negative 7 going down. Both open circles because there's no equal sign here. That is a correct and complete equations, I'm sorry, inequalities graph. All right, uh, we've done that exercise from the lesson five uh, review of inequalities in unit three, inequalities. Good luck studying.